In today's video, I'll be explaining how you can improve your aim on mobile. But before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to touch on, um, before anything else, is sensitivity. I feel like it's the most important thing. So for my sensitivity, I have 40. I feel like that's the most balanced because I could turn my screen, but it's not too fast or too slow. But it's all about preference, and that's all it comes down to. All your settings, it's come down to preference. So, if it's too low, I'm gonna show you what happens. Okay, let's go to 23. 23 is super low. You see how, like, I can't turn my screen properly when I strafe? Because it's too low. Now, if it's too high, 72, for example, that is... That is really freaking high, bro. Now, then, if it's too high, look at my sensitivity now. You see how I can't hit him? You see, like, I don't even know where he is now. He's, he's literally gone off my screen. You see how I'm able to combo someone when my sensitivity isn't horrible? You see that? Maybe if you choose the right sensitivity, which is your preference, but I recommend 40, you'll be able to combo people. Now the thing is about aiming, you don't want it to be sluggish. You want it to just be really smooth, like this for example. Watch 360 and he's dead. You want it to be like that, you want it to be really smooth, not too fast. It has to be fast enough so you can catch up to the player and be strafing around you. But you don't want to lose him either, which is why it cannot be too low. And that's why 40, in my opinion, is the best. Okay, now, there are a couple ways to aim. You can do one finger aim, which is what I use, which is basically just this. Now, the one finger aim is basically using one finger to aim. You can do this. This is what you can do. You can keep your one finger on the guy. And that, do that, do that, easy. Do that, do that. Or, you could Abdullah, which is what a lot of players actually go to. So now, Abdullah is literally just timing your hits. You see how he's constantly red? Yeah, you want to time your hits, so that happens. Yeah, so knowing where to aim is also important. When they're in the air, I recommend just tapping on their legs. When you're, tr when you're trading like this, I recommend you hitting on their body or head. Yeah, so when they're in the air, hit their legs, because you are actually closer to their legs than they are to hitting your head. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see that? You hit their legs, so they can't hit you. FOV is also really important, because it gives you a more wider space for you to tap. If you have a smaller device, with a small screen, I, rep I recommend going all the way to max. All the way to max FOV. If you have a big screen, like an iPad for example, or like a huge tablet, don't, I don't really suggest max, because the players might look a little bit too small on your screen. So I, I recommend at least in the hundreds, not all the way 110. Like for me, it's 106, but you could also choose like 90 for example. You know, you could just, it's about preference. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay, now to improve your FPS, turn off your camera shake, fancy bubbles, and render clouds, especially render clouds. If you don't, if you're not using a pack that has a custom sky, you can turn off beautiful skies. And if your phone or your, if your device is really bad, turn down fancy graphics. That's what I recommend doing. Okay, so what I recommend doing is not using like a pack that has like 20 megabytes or like 30 megabytes. Use like a small pack. That doesn't take up a lot of space. I use my pack, which is 17 megabytes, which actually works perfectly fine. Now, there are stuff you could do on your iPad. For example, I recommend clearing out your storage. This is what makes your device lag in general, is your storage. Obviously, my storage is kind of a problem, but that's because I have recordings, I have videos to edit. 